Hey what's up scrappers, yeah so what we're going to do in this video is uh, do a teardown on one of these Nintendo Game Boys, uh, Game Boys, uh, Game Cubes. So um, this one doesn't work, the lid doesn't shut and it, it had been outside for ages to be honest so it's probably got soaking wet. Um, yeah it doesn't work or anything so I probably could sell it for parts but I'm just going to tear it down and see what it's worth really. So um, yeah. Um, what is awkward with this one though, it looks like you need, you're not going to be able to see it because uh, deep down under here got these weird little, I don't know, like little bolts or something um, I had a look at it but I don't know what kind of bits you need to undo it so um, I think I might have to get a bit brutal with this one and um, just smash the case off somehow so um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to try and get the bolts out so it's nice and clean but I think I am going to have to smash it right, so I'll tear this down and uh, see what it's worth Right, so this is uh, what it looked like once you get the plastic off. Um, I'm calling for a timeout though, because I just sliced the end of my finger and I'm putting blood everywhere, all over my tools. So I'll wait until that stops bleeding and then carry on. Um, so yeah, this is just what it looked like when you take the plastic off. So um, it's a bit of a nightmare to be honest to get in. To get in there, I've got this one screw here. Uh, where are we? Can we see it? So it's there, uh, with the plastic bit snapped off there, but I can't get the screw out, and that's holding it all together. Now, at least that bit's come apart now. So I've got a nice bit of extruded aluminium in there. Uh, and a board, so... Looking at it, there's hardly nothing in here, to be honest. Definitely wasn't worth uh, cutting my finger. Um, so yeah, I pulled a little fan out already. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to let this stop bleed and then um, carry on. Like I said, I'm putting bloody blood everywhere. Bloody blood. Bloody blood. I'm going to drip it down here somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, um, yeah, and then we'll carry on. So guys, right. Um, done a tear down now. Finger's still bleeding. It was only a little cut, but just where I kept putting my hand on tools and now, I was just putting blood everywhere. So um, yeah, this... Um, all we got out of it was a little tiny bit of cable, we got a fan, a chunk of extruded aluminium, and can you see them over there? Yeah, and a couple of boards, I'll show them a bit closer in a minute, and, oh yeah, and a bit of steel that's already on there. So, um, yeah, there's not much value here. So, um, yeah, the steel is worth four pence, what I've done, I've I've left that board on there, I just can't get it off, the uh, screws just keep burring over, so um, I ripped um, a few bits off there, there was these little gold pins on there, so I ripped them off, I just chucked that in how it is with the steel. So yeah, the steel was worth four pence, um, let's get these out of the way, so the fan, because uh, it's just a low grade Fan, it's actually worth nothing, nothing at all. So, um, because I leave them how they are like that, just to get the weight up. Um, yeah, so it's not worth anything. So, uh, a bit of cable. Again, it's not even really going to register. I don't think so. Um, uh, one pound sixty. Oh, it is. So the cable is worth two pence. Then, if I can pick that up, come here. No, hang on, let's tie this out. Something went right there. So, if we start again, the cable is actually worth <laughs> one pence, so not even worth mentioning really. So, one pence for the cable. Um, extruded aluminium, so that goes for 95 pence a kilo at the moment, so that's worth 9 pence for the extruded aluminium, it's a nice little chunk, unfortunately not worth much. And then we have the board, so I'm going to class these as a mid-grade board, as a, boards, as a few um, really low-grade rubbish, not even boards, but I chuck them in with my boards. Um, so what we say mid-grade so they go for one pound 
so that's worth 21 pence for those boards but that's if you're going to sell them as mid-grade boards i don't sell my boards i am um, depopulate them myself so uh let's have a quick look at them so this one here we've got some uh flat packs two flat packs ic two ic chips um that's about it really mlccs but they're so small they're not even really worth worrying about that's just totally and utterly garbage but that's how it goes in with a low grade same as that goes in with a low grade and then this one, so oh yeah, that's what I pulled off that other board which I left on the steel. So it had these um, gold pins on there, so they, they just pull out really easy. So um, yeah, I'll be pulling them off. That one just fell off. And we've got this board, so this is obviously the main board. And uh, so you've got these nice chips here, you've got these gold cornered chips here, so there's two of them, uh, IC chip. So a little bit bigger um, MLCC, so I'll whip them ones off being a decent size. And then, I think that's a crystal oscillator in there, so uh, if we get it on the camera. So if you can see that, it's got the gold. Come on, focus. Focus. Three, two, one. Nah. Oh, there we go. So you can see it's got the gold sort of bit around it. So uh, yeah, I keep them to one side. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but E-Waste Ben, the Australian E-Waste Ben, he always collect them up, so um, I'll be collecting them up for definite. Anything that looked like gold. Um, yeah, and these, where are we? So we're over here now. So we've got these uh, bigger MLCCs, so there's three, four, four of them there. Bigger one the other side. So I'll be whipping them off. And oh, there's even more on the bottom. So more MLCCs, IC chip. Um probably can't really see but it's probably some gold in there so i'll whip them off oh, there's gold in there as well so i didn't really look at the board when i took it off that's where the is that where the memory cards go no it must be the controllers so the controllers go in there uh a little bit of gold in there as well don't know if you can quite see it something like that maybe i should switch on my light there we go so yeah, I've got that light now. Where is it? Can you see it? No, up there. There we go. So yeah, I've got that little light now. Brilliant little light. So um, yeah, it makes a big difference. Um, so yeah, I'll be um, depopulating that for definite. I say I'm not even really sure what's in these chips. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I will be whipping them off because they look nice. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it's gold in there, or platinum, or if it's just, I don't know, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments, and hopefully this will help you out, guys. So, um, yeah, in total, that beast was worth 34 pence to scrap it out. I don't know why that keeps going like that. But, yeah, so 34 pence um, as a scrap value. Um, so it cost you about... I don't know, 100, 150 pounds a buy, and it's actually worth 34 pence when you come to scrap it. So um, in America, 44 cents. Uh, Euro in, in Europe, the Euro, so 38 cents. Australia, 56 cents, and Canada, 56 cents. So an hourly rate. Um, I worked out to it's about 10 minutes to take it apart. There's a lot of fiddly screws in there, and it's quite awkward to take apart. Uh, so about 10 minutes. Um, so an hourly rate in the UK, you're looking at about two pound four pence. So absolutely not worth it. Um, if you can sell it to someone as parts, do that because it's just not worth the hassle. There's a lot of screws, a lot of messing about. Um, in America, hourly rate is two dollars sixty four cents, and the euro is two euros twenty six cents. Uh, Australia, three dollars. 36 cents and Canada three dollars 37 cents so um yeah it's a very low value um item to scrap out I certainly wouldn't recommend building these up to scrap them out let's so say if you know someone who can use up parts or anything like that definitely sell it that way even put it on eBay sell it as parts put it on there for a fiver you know you'll what's it three 
so if you put if you get five or four or five pounds on eBay you're looking at 15 times the scrap value so yeah I don't know I won't bother scrap, scrapping them out I've got one of them where is it I've got PlayStation here it's one of them PlayStations the thin ones so uh, I'm going to do a video on that, see what that's worth, but to be honest I think it's going to be very similar. So, uh, but still, I'll do the video on that and it's always handy to know what stuff's worth. And like I say guys, hopefully this will help you out and like always, keep scrapping.